Hello everyone. By now, most of you already know that the AeroGodin is going out of business. Most of you might have received an email or you found it on Facebook or somewhere else. But it is official, the AeroGodin is going out of business. As a fan of AeroGodin for several years, I am very, very, very sad and upset. Even though I am very sad that the AeroGodin is going out of business, I am not really shocked. I have been watching their customer support and their quality for last several months and I got the indication that they will soon go out of business. Their quality degraded very, very, very badly and their customer support is also not as responsive as they were before. You might have seen my video about AeroGodin Harvest 2.0. It was not working and the customer care was asking me all the irrelevant questions. I sent several videos showing what's happening. I sent a couple of photos, but they were not able to help me. So definitely that was very bad experience I got with AeroGodin. But still, I'm a fan of AeroGodin and I have been loving them. I still love them. And I will continue using my all AeroGodens. My impression on AeroGodens systems haven't changed at all. After trying so many hydroponic systems, AeroGodens designs are still my favorite. But it is what it is. There is nothing in our control. The company is going out of business. Now, what's next? What do we do? Is this the end of the world of hydroponic systems? Or do we have an alternative here? Yes. In fact, for a long time, I wanted to make a video comparing AeroGodin with several other hydroponic systems. I did one in the past couple of months or years ago, but lot of things have changed. A lot of companies came up with a very nice hydroponic system in last several years, and they are definitely competing with AeroGodin. I am definitely going to miss the ready-to-use AeroGodin nutrients, but I am not really going to miss their hydroponic systems. In fact, from last two years, all the hydroponic systems I bought are outside AeroGodin. Many hydroponic systems are very competitive with AeroGodin in terms of performance. End of the day, performance is everything, and I am very impressed with performance of many hydroponic systems. For example, the Spider Farmer hydroponic system. I am very, very impressed with the Spider Farmer hydroponic system. It doesn't mean that the Spider Farmer hydroponic system is 100% perfect. It has its own problems, but especially when I compare the performance of Spider Farmer with AeroGodin, I am very, very impressed. They come with uh, 36 voltage lights and they support the height adjustment up to one and a half feet. The bowl is very clean, like almost clean. And it is very easy to pull out this bowl, clean it and put it back. We don't even need to disconnect a single cable. So there are so many good things. And of course, it has some non-impressive things as well. For example, the light pole. I don't like uh, the light pole design. The minimum height adjustment is pretty high. And uh, of course, the maximum is also not that impressive, just one and a half feet. But everything else is very good. I like so many things in Spider Farmer. And uh, this is definitely one of my top picks outside AeroGodin. The next thing is LED pot. I would say there are many design issues with LED pot and uh, they are always on the expensive side. Most of their cost is on the unnecessary features. Like for example, the auto feeding, auto refilling, etc. They put a lot of unnecessary technology and they charge more. I don't like at all from that perspective. But coming to performance, I really love, especially the LED pot max. It comes with 36 voltage lights or 35 voltage lights. And the performance is really good. And I really love the telescopic uh, light rod. We can adjust it very well. We can adjust it wherever we want from almost like one inch all the way to, I don't remember all these heights, but I think it supports up to two feet or one and a half feet. 
and it comes with the Wi-Fi support, it comes with an app and we can adjust a lot of things from the app itself. We can control the system very well from the app. I can definitely pay a little extra money for uh, Wi-Fi and app support because I really love the convenience of adjusting the light schedule etc from the app but I don't want to pay extra money for unnecessary features like auto feeding, auto refilling etc. Good that they have that only in this LED port max. The other systems are very straightforward, simple and straightforward to use and they are not expensive so I am really really uh, liking these systems. I recently got this LED port air 10 port hydroponic system. I really love it. The design is very good. They reduced a lot of unnecessary cuttings inside the bowl. They made the bowl almost clean and uh, the light panel also they change a little bit. So overall I am very impressed with this uh, hydroponic system. Of course it is new to me. I really need to see the durability of this system but uh, so far my impressions are very good. In fact I recently published a video uh, with a uh, unboxing and uh, reviewing all the features of this hydroponic system. Next thing is a home garden. These systems are very economical. I think the 8 port hydroponic system is just under $40 and it works really well. And you know my favorite hydroponic system. They have this hydroponic system with a transparent bowl. I really love it. I don't like the grow deck they have unnecessary uh, cuttings or shapes instead they would have focused on making the stable pods that fit very well into the grow deck but currently i don't like the grow deck but it's not a terrible thing i don't have any bad experience with it but definitely it is not a good grow deck design but everything else is amazing and i really love watching the entire growth of this plant including the root system not only above the grow deck but also below the grow deck because the healthy root system gives the healthy plants so watching the root system from the outside is really good of course it's not exactly as shown in this photo it is not this clear but it is pretty visible we can really see the root system and uh, we can definitely monitor it but there are other hydroponic systems also good they have uh, the smaller one and the 12 pod one 10 pod one, 8 pod one. So all the all of them are really good. Not only this, like even if you search for hydroponic systems on Amazon, you can see a bunch of hydroponic systems. I haven't tried everything, but I tried a couple of things. Like for example, I tried a rain point. I really like this system. The design is good. The light height adjustment is really good. They have the telescopic rod. The bowl is super clean. There is nothing inside it except the pump. So it is easy to clean, everything is detachable. So I really like the system and moreover, the price is also very reasonable. At $58, I'm, I can definitely go with it. And next thing is Mafka. Look at this, right now it is just $40 and it is a 12 pod Mafka. I have one Mafka 12 pod for more than two years and it works really well. It performs very well and uh, I have no complaints so far but it's not exactly same with everybody. I heard a lot of complaints that the pump is broken, lights are broken etc. The biggest problem with all these off-brand hydroponic systems compared to AeroGordon is the customer service. Like Mavga, for the last two and a half years, I am not at all able to connect with any of the customer service for Mavga. I don't know if it even exists. So. Let's say you got the Mavga and uh, let's say your pump stopped working. That's pretty much the dead end. Very fortunately, my Mavga hydroponic systems are working fine, but it is definitely hit or miss. Rain point, I am able to connect with their customer care and they were able to answer a lot of questions I have been having for last couple of months. I think I have my rain point for more than a year and it is working very well and they have this wood design and uh, this white design so they work very well and Mavga has uh, both 12 pod and 18 pod look at this this is the 18 pod right now it is little bit on the expensive side but uh, yeah 12 pod for 40 dollars is a steel deal for sure but it is a hit or miss so if it hits for you you are very lucky if it misses yeah there is nothing much to talk 
But uh, all these hydroponic systems, spider former, lead pot, a home garden, I was able to connect with their customer support and they were able to resolve all my issues. So definitely I'm very comfortable. And look at this, a home garden. They are giving a 24 months of warranty for free. That's really amazing. If this is a case, why would I go for brand, Aero Garden brand? I am very comfortable going with a home garden. And Spider Farmer, they are into this hydroponic business for a long time and their customer care is really good. See, look at this, up to five years of warranty. Wow, that's really amazing. I, I never noticed it actually. But I reached out to their customer support a couple of times and every time the response was just within 24 hours. The same way, LedPod customer care is also really good. I reached out to them so many times and they also continuously listen to the feedback and they are trying to fix, they are trying to improve a lot. So with all these hydroponic systems, with all these manufacturers, I don't really look for Aero Garden at all. In fact, the customer support nowadays is much better with all these hydroponic systems like Spider Farmer, LedPot, a Hope Garden compared to Aero Garden. So go for them. But definitely I'm going to miss the plant food big time. This is easy, ready to use, comes with pH buffer, etc. So I'm definitely going to miss it. Nowadays, I'm not getting a lot of time. I'm becoming a lazy gardener. So for me, Aero Garden plant food is really saving a lot of my time. But now I have to stick to my other alternative, my favorite alternative, Maxi Grow. I think that's pretty much all the accessories that you can find on uh, Aero Garden. You can find alternatives like for example this uh, food dispenser you can just uh, spend like five dollars and buy a bunch of uh, dispensers from amazon yeah what else is missing i don't think we are really missing anything let's go to all the accessories uh, yeah uh, the aero wire i have showed you my diy no cost uh, aero wire of course that is not as big as this one but definitely you can make your own uh, diy aero wires Oh yeah, the seed starting systems. This is definitely another miss. I don't really say it is really miss. For example, if I use spider farmer, which comes with the 12 pods, yeah, that's my seed starter as well. During the summer, I can stop growing the full size plants and I can use spider farmer as a seed starter. Or I can use this Mafga 18 pod. Yeah, that's a good seed starter. So. Yeah, I don't think I am really missing the seed starters. Yeah, the shoes, the watering can. Yeah, I'm not really missing anything here. The micro green skit is a joke, really. Uh, I have showed you side by side. Growing in micro green skit versus growing traditionally. I love growing traditionally. So micro green skit is a real joke. And look at this. We need to use this uh, media, the felt media, which is very expensive. So I never liked it. Sponges, you already saw in every video I mentioned off-brand sponges that I have been using. They are really good, working very well. I think that's it. I'm not really missing anything uh, that the Aero Garden is being uh, shut down. Yeah, only big thing is the nutrition. Let's see, hydroponics, plant food. Uh, there are a couple of them. Yeah, AB somehow, I hate AB nutrition. I never go for it. But there are plenty of options here. Yeah, this is one thing I'm going to test from now on, the flora series, general hydroponics flora series. You know, MaxiGrow, I have been using for all the leafy green vegetables, herbs, lettuce, etc. I love it. I have been using it for several years and I will continue using it. This uh, Magro, MaxiGrow is from General Hydroponics and uh, this General Hydroponics is also producing uh, this uh, Flora series, which is ready to use. I think I'm going to explore that. But it is pretty expensive. That is one reason I never really got motivated to try it. But look at this. Maxi Grow is my favorite for a long time.
and it is very very economical so i will continue using maxi grow for all my herbs lettuce leafy green vegetables and even radishes i am not going to change that plan but when it comes to fruiting plants i need to find uh, alternatives of course all the fruiting plants we can grow them until they reach to blooming and uh, fruiting using maxi grow of course i have i made a video using maxi grow for the cherry tomatoes and uh, it worked very well all the way to the fruiting stage i was able to get tasty fully ripened tomatoes just using maxi grow nothing else no supplements not even calmag so for cherry tomatoes i can definitely use uh, maxi grow but for other fruiting fruiting plants maybe we need to use maxi bloom as well so i'm going to experiment i'm going to order it and start experimenting using maxi bloom uh, for fruiting plants for peppers cucumbers etc yeah i think uh, that's pretty much so we don't really need to worry about it but as aero garden is going out of business if you really see any deals on their hydroponic systems or plant food go grab it as much as you can once they are out of business don't worry we have so many other manufacturers we can happily live and live with and grow lots of things i am not going to stop my experiments in fact i am going to do lot more experiments using all these hydroponic systems and uh, see uh, what kind of results we can produce from all these hydroponic systems and uh, i will find all the tips and tricks growing uh, various plants in all these hydroponic systems and i will keep you posted so if you are liking my content please subscribe and also sub subscribe to notifications so that you will know when i post new content all right that is all for now I know it is a little bit lengthy video hopefully you came all the way here so thanks thanks so much for watching this video all right i will see you in the next video thanks for watching and happy hydroponics growing